hello and welcome to the Seafoam Isles Draft League. This is Battle I of Week 6. Uh, this battle is between Colin and the New York Latios and Morgana and the Spike Myth Morpecos. Um, the Mega Pokemon in this battle are Mega Mawile for Morgana and Mega Gallade for Colin. Mega Gallade did not show up, but Mawile is here. Um, the Z Pokemon are Z Attack Drapion and Z let's see, and Z Any Superior for Colin. Uh, Drapion is here, and on Morgana's side, it is Z Any Morpeko and Z Attack Cursula, neither of which showed up. Um, first impressions, Halucha looks like a major outlier here. Unless it has, like, Poison Jab or Steel Wing or Iron Head or something, it does nothing to this whole team. Um, and Drapion just walls it. Um, I guess unless Halucha somehow gets Earthquake or something, but that doesn't make sense. And then Driftblim, you, you can't even touch it with a Fighting-type move, and it can air slash or something to Halucha since it's pretty frail. And Coco's a fairy type, so it can just, I don't know, like Dazzling Gleam and Halucha's gone. Or Thunderbolt even. Thunderbolt will already do massive damage since it's the stab super effective. Uh, Moltres just completely walls it out too, and so does Latios. I, again, it, it seems like a major outlier here. Um, maybe it's got something that I don't know about. Um, Screens could be pretty important here in keeping Lucha alive. Um, another thing is that I'm surprised Mega Galley didn't show up. Um, granted, there's a few things that seem to be a bit scary for it, such as Mawile and Wobbuffet. Because uh, Wobbuffet can just tank a hit, counter, and Galley is gone. But even then... Um, it looks like Gallade could have done, Mega Gallade could have done pretty decently against the bulk of this team with Earthquake and Close Combat, or even Psycho Cut, um, or Poison Jab, rather. Um, but it looks like there's a lot of bulk on both sides, um, I know Zygarde, it can be pretty tanky, same with Slow King and Wobbuffet. And on Colin's side, Drapion's very physically bulky. Uh, Moltres can be pretty tanky too, and same with Latios, and especially with Vaporeon. I'm very interested in seeing how this match goes. A um, lot of lot of ways this could go, and uh, I'll just see how it goes. As far as leads go, I'm thinking... Honestly, I don't know who would lead for Colin's side. Maybe Drapion, and then... Probably Grim Snarl for more going on. So we have Vaporeon for Colin and Halucha for Morgana. Halucha switches out into Slow King. Vaporeon uses Yawn. Out comes Drapion. And then Wobbuffet comes out, so it looks like Drapion. Is stuck. Toxic Spikes gets used. Encore. Toxic Spikes gets Encored. Up comes Mawile Intimidating Drapion. T Spikes go up. So a full layer of Toxic Spikes are up now. Out comes Drift Bloom. Mawile Mega Evolves uses Play Rough doing 68%. That's a lot to Drift Bloom. Slow King removes those toxic, toxic Spikes. Strength Sap lowers its attack and Heals up Drifloom by a bit. Drifloom uses Substitute. And Sloking uses Trick Room. Shadow Ball fades the Substitute. Will O Wisp burns Sloking. Drifloom wants to switch out here, probably. Yes, there's a switch into Drapion. That'll tank this Shadow Ball easily. Still does 22%, though. Slow King still sitting at 94% after it's burn. Scald does 42%, gets the burn. That is unfortunate for Drapion. Earthquake is going to do only 30% after that. I would have originally done 60, which would have been an easy to hit KO, but now it's barely a free hit at this point. Sludge Bomb does 37%, leaving Drapion at 
five knockoff hits, doing 42%. Leftover, uh, leftovers restores Drapion's health a bit. Earthquake is going to KO since Trick Room gets used up. Drapion will still be at 5% after its burn. And up comes Zygarde. This is going to Earthquake. Ice Fang only does 29% because of the burn. Substitute comes out, though. It's probably going to Earthquake here, though. Drapion's best bet is just Ice Fang and Break Substitute. It does. And now we'll probably see... Oh, a Dragon Dance. That's interesting. I was also wondering, because Drapion outsped. I don't think it... And just uses Dragon Dance again. Oh, Drapion's actually really fast. Ice Fang hit. This is looking a little bit scary, though. Thousand Arrows hits. Oh, that's the ground type move it gets. Okay, so this is Life Orb, so Morgana needs to be very careful. He can only get one good hit out of this. Thousand Arrows hits, one-shotting Vaporeon. That's a lot of damage. But it's now an even 4-4 four to four in both teams' favors. Um, okay, this is the matchup. Okay, Thunderbolts gets used, but this matchup, I was very... I was almost hoping it didn't happen. Halucha just does not seem to do well, unless it gets Poison Jab. Halucha, I don't think, does very well against Popo. Uh, Thunderbolt... Okay, it looks like it has a Focus Sash, but Thunderbolt, it would have easily one-hit KO'd, and it paralyzes. That's... Wow. Little bit of hacks going around there. Thunderbolt, KOs, Halucha. I'm guessing this thing has Poison Jab since he didn't switch it out. Out comes Wobbuffet. U-turn does 23%. It's probably going to use Counter here, which won't affect Drifloon. Mirror Coat instead. So Drif... Well, I was going to say Drifloon could switch out, but that at can't happen. Strength set lowers Grimmsnarl's attack and really heals up Drifloon. Light Screen goes up. And the Will-O-Wisp is going to burn. Not looking good for Morgana at all now. Thunder Wave hits, paralyzing Drifloon. Strength Set gets used again, fully healing Drifloon now. Grimmsnarl still hurt by its burn. Spirit Break only does 5% after the attack drops. It does lower the special attack, but at this point, I don't know how much that really going to do. Out comes Mawile now. Shadow Ball is all of 9% to Mawile. Using Knockoff, Breaking Substitute. Full Paralysis on Drifloon. Cobra Berry reduces the damage from Knockoff, only dealing 51% instead of fully KOing. And Drifloon is KO'd after that? That's Interesting. I think this is supposed to be Unburden. Um, Sucker Punch gets used, but it fails because Latios uses, substi uh, uses Substitute. Uh, Mystical Fire is going to KO. Would have been a better time to use Sucker Punch there, but down goes Mega Mawile. Out comes Grimmasnarl. Light Screen goes up. Mystical Fire does 13%. Dropping Special Attack. This would probably be a spirit break coming up here, so if Colin wants to pitch out, now would be the time to substitute again. Uh, spirit break hits breaking substitute. I'm wondering if Colin thought he out he was outsped there. Out comes Dynablade the Moltres. Maybe another spirit break here. Only does wow four percent. Drop special attack. That burn is doing a lot. Uh, Thunder wave hits. Fully paralyzing Moltres. This. Oh my god. So many hacks going around right now. Out comes Wobbuffet. Uh, full paralysis again. This is crazy. Uh, Wobbuffet uses Toxic. Mirror Coat does not work. Uh, now would probably be a good time to. Oh, Reflect. This would be a good Encore. Yes, and there's the Encore. And now out comes Grimace Snarl. Reflect. I'm gonna get used again, but obviously that won't do anything. Moltres probably needs to switch out here. Light Screen's gonna go back up more than likely. No, actually Spirit Break is going to do 3%. 
after reflect and burn. At least I'm assuming spirit break is a physical move, of course. Um, still only doing three percent. Rapidly decreasing Moltres special attack, and it's fully paralyzed now. Encore is up. Now out comes Wobbuffet. I flamethrower hits and citrus berry activates. So Wobbuffet is now at seventy three percent. Reflect goes up. It'll be an encore. There it is. This is probably going to take a long time since Reflect is up and Spirit Break isn't going to be doing much of anything. But here we go, Light Screen goes up. Reflect still failing, probably going to run out of PP any, at any point here. Spirit Break again does 2%. I think Moltres special attack is one stage, oh, one stage away from being the lowest it can be at. Encore is up. Spirit Break does 3%, and this will probably be the end of Grimace Normal. There's a Flamethrower. That didn't KO, but the burn damage is going to take it out now. Now, out comes Wobbuffet. Reflect goes up, and now it's just going to be Moltres versus Wobbuffet. Roost, so probably be an Encore here. No, Mirror Coke gets used. Looks like Wobbuffet's going to be down from Toxic Poisoning before it can even do anything. Mirror Coke can't do anything again, and Moltres is still fully paralyzed, so Mirror Coke won't do anything. Wobbuffet just got stalled out by a fully paralyzed Moltres. That's going to do it for this battle. Ugh. <laughs> that was a rough one for both teams. Lots of paralysis and burns, and a lot happened in that battle. Um, very interesting battle, to say the least, between the two teams. Um, Moltres seemed to just pull through, even with its minimal special attack, and being fully paralyzed. Uh, it staying in for the long game was probably the smartest thing Colin could have done. Um, switching out while Grimace Gnarl was still in, probably could have spelled disaster in the long run, considering that Latios is weak to fairy and um, Coco is frail, but um, overall, really good play by Colin in this battle uh, with Moltres. Um, yeah, that was... That looked like it was rough for both teams, but uh, it's a 3-0 victory for Colin over Morgana and stick around for more battles.